Hey, it's Steve. Welcome back to Clear Direct, the Rans build. This is part two of the wing build. You can tell I've flipped it over. As a reminder, there is a long form video of each of these videos posted as well if you want to get into the nitty gritty slow details. I didn't get a lot of the footage of us flipping this over. I was really just focused in that really important step of getting the jigs set up, getting it, the twist out of it, making sure that it's squared. And then as you can see, the one of the stringers is out right now because the notch I cut in it for the truss wasn't exactly perfect. So if that were centered, that'd be good, but it's actually gonna be mounted about like that. So back to the Dremel. Now that that's set, I'm gonna move on to tidying up the wires. Okay, we've mocked up the Gretz AOA backing plate. So the level is mimicking the skin right now. We have the skin test fit <laughs> for two reasons. Number one is we want to ensure that there's ample margin between the hinges and the skin. And if not, when we take off the skin, I'll kind of file them down. So we're going to mark those. And number two is, okay, that's a live shot. <laughs> I've got my cell phone in that inspection hole. Apple Airplane to my Apple TV right there so that we can use the felt tip marker and mark all the holes for the pedo installation, which is taped in place right here. This is like what surgeons do, I think. This is why I'm not a surgeon. Well, among many reasons. It's harder than it looks. Maybe if I hold it. Hey! Okay, there's the final product, sort of. That's just a, obviously a test fit of, a, of the AOA tube. Actually, it's static line, but it's on the AOA line. There's the pedo line. So that feels a lot better. I'm not gonna have a stray wire get in the way of the aileron cable, flight control cable. Man, lots of progress today. I am super excited about how this is looking. Pedo tube brackets are all done. One kind of bigger thing I still have to do is the brackets to connect the lift strut to the truss. Oh, <laughs> I've got to build a, some sort of a, a wing stand. I will be done with the left wing tomorrow, so I need to figure out what to do with it. Well, Tomas, if that flying thing doesn't work out, I think you got a future. Cutting carpet. Yeah, doing a bang up job. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sure, my mom would be really happy to hear that one. How's it coming, y'all? Uh, going good. Almost done. Now, where do you want these in relation to the end? Well, it pulls the room together. You know what? We can leave it. We yeah, can that's leave it. It'll work. Just oh. push harder. Uh, what I'm working on now is the lift strut to the truss brackets. You have to drill out every one of these five holes. Uh, the big one to 7 16, small ones to one quarter. So we're just taking our time, using some lubrication. Ah! Turn out good. All right, I am super motivated to get this freaking wing done. It's gonna be done tomorrow, all right? I'm holding myself accountable. There was another delay I haven't told you about yet. Um, I decided, since I'm a YouTuber, I wanna have access to cameras out on the wing. So this is, the, again, the cool thing about experimental aviation, one of the very cool things. 
I decided to buy some long USB type C cables to get out to the truss so that I can have power and potentially control over my cameras for future YouTube videos. Uh, why not? I'm building it right now. There's never going to be any better time to get things wired in this wing. So I've got a match drill this, get that mounted up um, temporarily, not going to tighten it down. And then get the landing light brackets mounted. It's date night, we're gonna float the river, have a couple of brewskis, so I wanna get a lot done. Milwaukee made this aftermarket extension to the uh, rivet gun, which is, comes in handy for these little tight to reach spaces. So we're gonna try it out. And that's a wrap. Part two of the wing video series is complete with the wing in its rack, the left wing in its rack. Um, I am not going to make you sit through a part three and four for the right wing. A couple of thoughts. I am actually, while I'm dreading doing this whole thing over again on the right wing, I'm taking a different approach, which is uh, challenging myself to do a better job than I did on the left wing. Um, I think that's gonna be easy, an easy goal to meet for a couple reasons. One is I've obviously already done a wing and I've learned a lot. Number two is I've already prepped a lot of the parts. The spars are pretty much ready to go, so that's gonna um, be a blast. I'm, however, I'm losing my intern, Tomas, is um, down in New Orleans fishing with his dad, and his girlfriend comes back here, so um, his summer's pretty much done. But I'm so thankful to you, Tomas, so thanks again for that. It was awesome spending time with you. I hope you learned something, and I uh, can't wait to fly it with you. I don't have to mess with pitot tube on this. I do have to mount the outside air temperature probe on the right wing. So I am going to take a week off to go to Oshkosh. I don't know when this is going to air. It's probably going to air after Oshkosh, let's be honest. But hopefully that was a blast. But give me a thumbs up if you don't mind, if you think I've earned it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate you hitting the subscribe and notification bell so that you're made aware of when I drop the videos. It also helps the algorithm. Shouldn't care, but it's just a fun challenge as I've kind of mentioned before. So what's next? Uh, late summer antics, um, getting the tail cone built and then attached to the cage. And then I've got to take uh, three months and go to, to uh, training and all that. So it's going to slow down just a bit. My video uploads are going to slow down just a bit as well, because I'm not going to film this uh, build of the right wing. And that's the other thing that's going to accelerate the right, the right wing over the left wing is that I'm just not going to film it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys joining me. Until next time, you're clear to write. the shoots. Cheers. Life is good. Yeah, baby. Life is grand. Mm. Life is grand. I've never said that before in my life.